Mahaka! Welcome to a new episode of Let's Talk Taino. I'm Priscilla Colon, co-founder and creative here at Casa Reito, where our mission is to promote the Taino language and culture. So on today's episode, we're going to be spiraling back, doing a little bit of review of some words that we've already learned. Except this time, I'm going to teach you how to look for context clues. That is, words that help you derive the meaning. We're going to be working a little bit more with the English side of your brain, but that's a good thing because we want to make sure that you can translate from English into Taino, from Taino into English, and back and forth. Okay, so are you ready to get started? I am. So let's go. So you've seen this word before. It is yaraka. And yaraka can mean there is or there are depending on the context. So, how do you know which phrase it means? Well, we can look for context clues. We look at the word that follows yaraka. If the word means one or less, we use there is. If the word means two or more, then we use there are. Simple enough, right? So why don't we do a few examples? Let's take a look at this first picture. Hmm, the picture gives me a clue. Now let's look for context clues. Let's look at the word that follows yaraka. I can see the word kek, and I know that means one. So, what does yaraka mean in this case? Does yaraka mean there is or there are? That's right, yaraka means there is because we are talking about one or less. Now let's read the sentence aloud. Yaraka hek yamui. There is one cat. You see how simple that is? Now let's look at the next example. First, let's look at the picture and the sentence that goes with it. The picture gives me a clue. Now let's look for context clues. The word that comes after yaraka is ga, and that means two. So, how do we fill in this blank? Correct! We fill it with there are because we're talking about two or more things. Now let's read the sentence aloud. Yaraka ga ara nagu. There are two people. Let's look at the next example. Oh, we've seen this picture before. Now let's look for context clues in the sentence. What word comes after yaraka? That's right, I see kun, three. So, how do we fill in the blank? Correct, we fill it with there are because we're talking about two or more. Now let's read the sentence together. Yaraka kun matunai nagu. There are three hearts. Now, that seems simple enough because we saw some numbers. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of a challenge. Let's look at this picture and sentence. Hmm, if you look at the word after yaraka, I don't see a number. But the word is teketa, a lot. Now, does teketa mean more than two or one or less? I think it's more than two. So we know how we should fill in the blank, right? Correct! We fill it with there are. That's what yaraka means in this sentence. So let's read it together. Yaraka teketa ana nagu. There are a lot of flowers. Let's look at the next example. Oh! This is a tricky one, too. So let's look at this sentence. There is only one word after yaraka, and that word is mayani, nothing. Which rule do you think we need to follow? Well, if it's nothing, that's one or less, right? So I think that yaraka means there is in this sentence, and that's correct. Now let's read the sentence aloud. Yaraka mayani. There is nothing. 
How simple was that? We were able to use context clues, that is words in the sentence, to help figure out the meaning of the word yaraka. So now you know how simple it is to use yaraka to mean there is or there are. So why don't we review one more time everything we learned today. Yaraka, there is or there are. Hek, one. Ka, two. Kun, three. Ara, person. Ara nagu, people. Teketa, a lot or a lot of. Mayani, nothing. So today, I have a little homework for you. If you want to practice yaraka, there is or there are, you can leave a short sentence down below in the comments. So you can write yaraka and then fill in the blank with a number and the number of things that you see. For example, two flowers or one stove or three cars, whatever that may be. And it'll give me a chance to practice my Taino too. Because as I always say, together we can bring back Taino. When you get the chance, check out our kids books. They are a great way to get kids interested in learning Taino and about our Taino ancestors. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where we can continue the conversation. And click that link down below to our link tree. I have a ton of resources for you, such as kids books, activity books, and so much more. In the meantime, taikareya guaitiao nago. Thank you.